What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. This episode is something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time because I think I'm at the end of the stage where I'm finished modding this motorcycle. So without further ado, let's talk about every single mod that I have on this motorcycle. I think I've had the motorcycle for about a year now, right? I should be making a one year review of this bike, so uh, that should be coming up pretty soon as well. But uh, in the meantime, there's so much here that I'm probably not going to remember everything if I tried to do that anyways. So I made a little list for myself, or as a matter of fact, I kind of printed out my mod list from the description down below. So if you're interested in any of these mods, look down in the description below. There's links to everything over there, which should make it pretty easy for you to find. Uh, but that being said, let's first start off with the Leo Vinci exhaust. The Leo Vinci exhaust is a full system and it is, in my opinion, probably the best exhaust for the R6. And that's for many different reasons. One of the major reasons is the fact that you lose 13.4 pounds from the motorcycle. And believe me, you feel it. As a result of the net weight savings, which I will also go over in this video as well, just to give you guys a summary of the benefits aside from just uh, making the bike look better and also sound better, it does have weight advantages which could potentially make you faster on the track or on the street. But uh, as far as the Leo Vinci exhaust is concerned, uh, the one I have is carbon wrapped. It looks amazing. I ride this bike pretty hard, as you already know. So the carbon exhaust is a little bit burned at the top over here. I don't know if you could see it on my, uh, on my GoPro, but I will take a separate video of this and overlay it. That's basically it, and that's because I ride this thing really hard. So if you don't track the motorcycle or anything like that, and you ride it at normal speeds, I don't think that should be happening to you. Um, aside from that, the Leo Vinci exhaust does come in a non-carbon one, which I believe is about a hundred dollar difference. Uh, currently, the, uh, the the carbon one is selling for about a thousand two hundred and fifty on uh, Revzilla from the last time I checked. So. The next thing I want to move on to is the Evotech passenger blanking plates and they're right at the bottom over here. And this allows me to make the rear end look a lot more clean coupled with the rear fender eliminator which I'm going to get into as well. As you can see the rear looks really nice and clean. The foot pegs if you're not going to use them and you don't have a pillion to ride with it does save you a bit of weight which like once again I will go over towards the end of the video but it makes the bike look really really clean and that's one of the benefits or I should say yeah that's one of the benefits because the other benefit is weight loss if that's what you're into moving on to the inside of the bike which you won't be able to see but this Leo Vinci exhaust system requires that you remove the co2 stuff that's inside of the motorcycle and uh, the other thing that i've done with the leo vinci exhaust is that i've upgraded the ecu on this motorcycle and it's by boss tuning unfortunately i don't have a link for them but uh, you can just go on the internet and type boss tuning and you'll definitely find them so those are the guys i recommend for tuning your bike after you've modified it so uh, underneath the tank here there's a graves block off plate for the co2 emission stuff and that's pretty much it for the inside of the tank. Now, moving on to the rear. The rear of the motorcycle is outfitted with the new Rage Cycles Fender Eliminator Kit. Very clean if you add it along with the blanking plates for the passenger foot pegs. Man, this bike looks so clean right now. Oh, I absolutely love the way it looks. A very stealthy number plate, kind of controversial. Some of you may be a little bit scared and apprehensive to add something like this. If you live in an area where you get pulled over all the time, probably wouldn't recommend it, but you do have the option of bending your number plate so it kind of sticks out and it's like this. Uh, but then it would defeat the purpose of getting this. If you're gonna get this number plate holder, live in an area where cops really don't bother you that much and of course you're not a hooligan on the street that would also help but otherwise this is a fantastic fender eliminator kit and in my opinion it was the best one at the time when i made the decision to buy it i believe that's about 150 dollars off of revzilla as well so as you know this uh, body style and fenders and everything it's all brand new you've seen videos about it but if you haven't make sure to go check out the playlist and check out the videos where we do the installation of this as well as i highlight everything about it but 
with this new tank cover i don't have the tank pads that i used to have but i used to have tank pads here for my old 2020 uh, oem design and i also had um the tank pads that were up here so there was one here one here uh, those two are missing from this but i do plan to add it and the ones that i had on this previously were the pro grip tank protectors so if you're going to get tank protectors and you have an oem design doesn't matter what model year from 2017 to 2020 the pro grip ones from uh uh, tech spec those are the ones I recommend because those are by far the best other than that uh, The foot pegs have been changed out now. There's a funny story to these foot pegs Because when I got the motorcycle and I have this habit of always dropping a motorcycle the first week that I buy it I wasn't really used to the kickstand and it didn't open all the way so it fell on the side here luckily nothing happened to the motorcycle, but this foot peg broke and as a result of that I bought these new foot pegs and I like them so I don't really regret the drop because these foot pegs are amazing and they're fantastic on the track allows you to feel into the corner and it gives you a lot of feedback so highly recommend you get these foot pegs regardless if you dropped your bike like me or you just want an upgrade foot peg that gives you a lot more feedback on the road uh, these are the PSR SBK foot pegs also linked down in the description below and last but not least we got the evotech rear spools in the back you may or may not know but these are an absolute necessity when you are on the track uh, because you want to put tire warmers on or you want to adjust the chain and lube it up and do chain maintenance this definitely helps out so there are cheaper versions of this but i decided to get the evotech ones because something like this name brand really counts simply because because you have it on a stand and all of its weight is hanging off so i wanted something quality i didn't want something that would break so i think i paid like 35 to 40 dollars for these uh rear spools and that's what i would recommend you do as well so last but not least or i should say yeah this is well actually no wait a second i completely forgot i have a quick shifter on this bike how could i forget that Yes, my friends, this is the TransLogic Quick Shifter. It's quick up and quick down. And when you're riding this thing on the street or on the track, it is an absolute game changer. Currently, this bike is using GP shift. Down is up and up is down. Hopefully that makes sense. But if you've never used GP shift, it is kind of confusing in the beginning. But yeah, uh, this bike on the track is a beast. And speaking of track, on October 10th, this thing is going to Auto Club Speedway. Uh, Auto Club Speedway allows you to have a camera on your helmet. So it's going to be really interesting to show you guys some third-person perspective uh, video shots. Because I hate the tracks that you have to put like the GoPro right in the front here. It's really not as engaging as having it on the helmet. So that should pre be pretty interesting. One last thing that I really can't show you is underneath this seat i have a lithium ion battery pack that weighs roughly about a pound so now that we got all that out of the way let's talk about weight savings and i do plan to do a separate video about weight savings because i've done it before uh, i've done a before video before i added all these mods and now i want to I do an after video so maybe my good friends at ducati of newport beach can help weigh this motorcycle for me and let you guys know what it weighs so that's going to be a separate video stay tuned for that all right so the stock motorcycle was 418.4 pounds wet the tail tidy removed 1.8 pounds the exhaust removed 13.4 pounds one pound was from the AIS, AIS sensor and the CO2 connector when we did the exhaust video. So make sure to go check that video out if you want to see exactly how we did it. 1.3 pounds was on the servo box from the exhaust. The old exhaust had a servo box, whatever it is, so we got rid of that. Uh, 1.2 pounds on the rear uh, foot pads that were here, the rear foot pegs, whatever it is. Both of them 1.2 pounds. Uh, 4 ounces is the baffle and I didn't add that on the bike. Uh, the reason why I, I removed 4 ounces is because Leo Vinci gives you figures with the baffle installed. So I weighed the baffle and then uh, took it off of the, the after weight. And then uh, 5 ounces is the catalytic converter holder. And I don't know which side it was. I think it was the left side or the right side. 
And then of course, as I mentioned before, I got a lithium ion battery pack in here and that took off three pounds. So in total, the bike has lost 21.7 pounds and current wet weight sits around 396.7 pounds. And I think that's freaking fantastic for a motorcycle that has been tuned up uh, with the boss tune and is putting out some really nice figures for a 600 class bike. You'd be surprised how fast this bike is. I don't know if you saw one of my older track videos, but this thing gets to 151 miles per hour in a blink of an eye. Uh, one other thing that I plan to do, which I haven't done yet, and it's only because there are shortages everywhere and I can't get parts. I've been looking for it for a long time, but I want to get rid of this and I want to get rid of this from the other side. Uh, I forgot which company, company it is that I'm looking to purchase from. I kind of gave up looking, to be honest with you, because they're, they're just not making them and they're not shipping them anymore so um, if you have any suggestions for removing uh, the clutch as well as the brake levers leave a comment down below if you think I should be doing some additional mods to this motorcycle either to give it more performance enhancements or to make it look better I mean I don't know how much better I could make it look uh, as you can see <laughs> but uh, leave a comment down below uh, I, I, I want your suggestions and uh, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of my mods. Uh, should I change things around or keep it as is? And uh, until the next time, guys, I will see you later. Ciao for now.